Hello, hello, sisters and brothers. My name is Tracy, coming right back to share another word with you guys. Happy Monday to everyone. I pray that you are doing well. Listen, this is the day that the Lord has made. I will, we will rejoice and be glad in it. No matter the situation, no matter the circumstance, God is always worthy to be praised, okay? Listen, you guys, okay. So I have a word for you today. Um, and 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 I'm gonna share something which I had not planned on sharing. I'm like, Lord, is there you know something else that you would like me to share um with your people? And um here we go. Okay, here we go, here we go. So wow, the message yesterday was packed with so much more than I knew, right? Okay, so God gave me the word. It was about confirmations, but we were also talking about the number 17, which means victory. And God gave me two 17, but he was like, this is 17 twice, right? He said, victory, victory. And I had no idea the magnitude of what God was speaking to me at the time. He was letting me know in advance. He was preparing me for something. Was that yesterday? Y'all, you know how it is with my days. He was preparing me for something that I had no idea. Let me go back to my notes real quick. You guys, give me a moment. I just want to be... So today's the... Um, let me see. What is today? The 19th. I just want to make sure. Yes. Yeah, so he was giving me um, a word um, the 17th and the 18th. So um, yesterday. And we were talking about confirmations and the number 17, 17. We we're talking about victory, victory. Okay. Uh, so nice. We had to say it twice. <laughs> okay. Okay. Amen. So listen, you guys. So again, I had no idea and I really wasn't going to share this, but you know, Hey, to God be the glory. It is my job to do what God says do. When he gives me a word, that is what I have to have to put out. So I, re you guys remember, I shared a video that was, um, titled I survived. And this was talking about, um, a child of mine, um, who doesn't, claim to be my child anymore and to give you guys a little um a little backstory um she's actually my granddaughter but i raised her um as my own since she was a baby right since she was about one and a half maybe and um and so and i adopted them so they're my kids i never look at them anything different that's it i raised them as my own me and my husband um who before he passed right and so anyway so i put that video out i survived and uh, lo and behold <coughs> she got a hold of the video and started saying all kind of stuff on facebook and just and i'm like lord really you know i thought it was done and over but it is what it is and so and in the video i never called her name i never called her name as a matter of fact i believe i only said my child i don't believe i even said whether it was a girl or a boy but she put it on there you know on facebook and saying all these crazy things and just just really saying some ugly things and she posted um a little clip from um the social worker and something like that um and we know that I, well i don't know about you but i worked in social services and um i had to go through social services to get them i'm just giving you guys a little backstory and so and so i know how the documents are i know how they word them so of course this document is worded in her favor as she's the victim let me tell you something as i live and breathe before god and i don't play with god okay all i have to say at this point is let god judge between me and her at this point what is it what what can i do right and so she gets on there and of course you guys it caught me off guard right i mean can you imagine like well, can you imagine? And so I'm like, that's what I call when the devil likes to try and sucker punch you. You know what I'm saying? You don't see it coming, but God did. Look, I'm a dance in this park a lot, but God did. God did. He already knew. And so not only did he give me a word for yesterday, but he was giving me a word for this incident, for what was coming up. He was preparing me and already putting in my spirit. You have the victory. He said, victory, victory. When I went to court that day, 
that day, um, it's been like a couple of years now, the Lord gave me the number 17. He was already letting me know I had the victory then. So yesterday he was letting me know, preparing me for this incident for when I got back home um, for delivering the word a little sometime after. He let me know, and you still got the victory. Let me tell y'all something. When, when you are with God and innocent before him, he will take care of you. Amen. And so I want to share with someone today who may be going through what I done left my notes, who may be going through whatever situation and whatever circumstance, whatever it looks like. Okay. It may not be you dealing with a court case. It may not be you dealing with a wayward child. And I mean, this is beyond wayward, you know, because I've had kids act up before and, um, and you know, Hey, it, it's, it goes with being a parent. Let me tell you, like I said in the video, and because she smoked and she's gay, right? And so she want to put that out there as though I um, have did all of this stuff because of that. Let me tell you something. I'm, I, you guys may not agree, but I was the type of parent. If you smoke at that age, don't smoke in my house. Whatever lifestyle you live, you can't do it in my house. But I always told my kids, and if they tell you any different, they're lying. Everybody should know this. I will never stop loving them. They're my babies. They're my babies. Being gay is not going to stop me from loving my kids. So, so I want to share with someone today that no matter what your circumstance is, okay, and no matter what you're going to, God spoke to me this morning. This too shall pass. I said, look at, listen, I love God. I love him so much. I love him so much. He is always on time. He, he already put a word in me for the situation before I even got into the situation. That is the kind of God we serve. Amen. Amen. And amen. And I'm like, Lord, you know, and so I'm going to be real with you guys. I had posted a lot of stuff trying to defend myself. Right. And so I went and deleted it all. I'm, I'm like, you know, before yesterday. I'm just I'm going to talk about yesterday. I ain't going to talk about this morning. But yesterday, I went and I deleted all of it. I'm like I'm I'm I can't do this back and forth thing, right? And so I deleted all of it and so of course she posts like um you know that she had the upper hand because I I, I took everything down. No, I took everything down because I know where I stand. It is not for me to go back and forth. And I was speaking, the timing was so perfect that I was speaking to another young lady and she had no idea what she was blessing me. God just used that moment. Y'all, that was the day yesterday at the store at this point, I danced in the parking lot. I didn't care who because I know I know that God had given me the victory. I just danced right there behind my car. I had to get it out. I just praise and worship. And I praise and worship him again um, this morning because he's so faithful. So like I said, I done went off and left my notes. Um, but anyways, but I, at the end of the day, I have to leave it there. Okay. Because God will judge between me and her. Yes. Does it hurt? Yes. Yes, it does. I can't lie. And it completely caught me off guard. But that's the devil, right? He's a coward. He likes to sucker punch us. That's what I call. Like he want to come in like from the side and from the back. <laughs> Y'all know what I'm saying? Hey, but I got the victory. And listen, and so do you. So no matter what. Now, this is my situation and my circumstance. I told you guys we were on the brink of a breakthrough because he wouldn't be fighting like this. If I wasn't right there and so close. If you weren't right there and so close, right? Amen, amen. And so I just want to share with you all, this too shall pass like everything else. Hallelujah. Like everything else. God gave me the victory two years ago. He will continue to do so. One thing about a lie, it won't stand, right? It won't stand. It, it's going to crumble. It's going to fall. You, the light will be shown on it, right? God exposes all that's done in the dark. He will bring it to light. That's according to the word. I want anybody who's going through a hardship right now, okay? The enemy is throwing everything at you that he can, including the kitchen sink, okay? I want to let you know that God has your back and this too shall pass. Amen, amen, amen. Look, I am ready for, obviously, I got my camo on and everything. This stuck out in the closet. I'm like, what? Because I was picking out another shirt. It seems to be working that, that way these days. The shirt just kind of, most of the time fit with the message. And so this shirt was right there. And I'm like, I'm grabbing that shirt. Okay. Cause I ain't playing with the devil. 
Amen. Not today, say, say, not today. And I, and I said, say, say, because another sister in Christ said that. So it cracked me up. I'm just going to put it out there. I'm not trying to take anybody's stuff. I'm not trying to steal nothing. I just thought it was funny, but not today, devil. Okay. I'm just going to say it like that. I'm not going to edit that out. I'm leaving it right there. Amen. Amen. And so sometimes it may look as though the enemy is winning, right? But I promise you, he's not, he's not. When you are in God and in Christ, you are always the victor. Okay. You always have the victory. Amen. So I was thinking about Job because I was praying and asking the Lord, Lord, where, what scripture you want me to go? And one of the first scriptures that popped up was Job because it looked like, right? It looked like um, Job's life was over. It looked like the enemy had the upper hand over him. Because if you guys remember the devil went to Satan, went to, uh, God saying, um, you know, God was like, have you considered my servant Job? He's like, yep. Mm -hmm, he have. And so he touched him. That's over in Job. Um, Job lost everything, his kids, his animal livestock and all that stuff in Job chapter one and chapter two, his health started failing and his wife started saying some wild stuff. Okay. So you guys go read it. But at the end of the day, God restored everything back to Job, everything he lost. Amen. God restored back. Listen, I want you to know that God will vindicate you and he will prepare a table before you in the presence of your enemy. And I was asking the Lord about something. I'm like, Lord, can, well, I was asking him something and, and what dropped in my spirit is that I'm preparing a table before you in the presence of your enemy. Amen. Amen. So, um, he will vindicate us, you guys, of any wrong that's done. You got to know that any situation that has not been favorable, um, in you, and that's just a hot mess. Um, all the lies and betrayal and all that God's got us. We got to remember that we pray for those. Remember, we have to pray for our enemies. Okay. I'm still saying God vindicate me because all I want is my name cleared at the end of the day. God does what he does. He is the judge. Amen. Amen. And so also, um, I was reading over in Daniel chapter six. This is where the Lord took me because after I read Job, I'm saying, God, where are we going? What is the scripture you want me to, the main scripture you want me to put with this in Daniel 6. And we already know about Daniel in the lion's den. We're going to read a little bit. Let me get my Bible. I'm not, I'm not fooling with the laptop today trying to find. Yeah, no, it's in my Bible. King James Version all. So let's go to chapter 6 and um, let's see y'all. Let's start reading at verse 3. Let's read. Then this Daniel was preferred above the presidents and princes because an excellent spirit was in him. And the king thought to set him over the whole realm, right? Then the presidents and princes sought to find occasion against Daniel concerning the kingdom, but they could find none occasion nor fault. For as much as he was faithful, neither was there any error or fault found in him. Let me tell y'all something. I'm going to pause just for a moment. Okay. These people try to find something. Okay. They tried to find something against Daniel. There was nothing. There was just, okay. Jealousy, jealousy. And that was a real big issue with my daughter. She was very jealous of my other daughter because my other daughter was doing um, better. She admitted that out of her own mouth. Now I don't expect her to say it now. Um, but these people were jealous, right? of him. And so they were just trying to find anything. That's how the devil is. He will try to find anything to use against him. So, um, so they told on Daniel. <clears throat> so they told on Daniel that he was praying. Um, okay. And all kind of stuff. Let me get back to the scripture. I got to read, um, a little more for you guys. Ooh, thank you, Jesus, for your word. It says, um, verse five, let's go to verse five, you guys. Then said these men, we shall not find any occasion against this Daniel, except we find it against him concerning the law of his God. Then these presidents and princes assembled themselves together to the king and said unto him, King Darius live forever. All the presidents of the kingdom, the governors and the princes, the counselors and the captains have consulted together. Do you guys see this? all of the people together against Daniel, an innocent man, that, you, that is my story. That is my story. It is the truth, not my truth, but the truth, the real truth. 
Hallelujah. I have no lies to tell. And so I have not only my daughter, but all of those that um, believe the lie, which makes no sense. And again, I shared this to you. So Daniel had all these people together against him. Okay. They have consulted together to establish a royal statute and to make a firm decree that whosoever shall ask a petition of any God or man for 30 days, save thee, you know, accept thee, O king, he shall be cast into the lion's den. Now, O king, establish the decree and sign the writing that it be not changed according to the law of the Medes and Persians, which alter not. Wherefore, King Darius signed the writing and the decree. Now, when Daniel knew that the writing was signed, he went into his house and his windows being open in his chamber toward Jerusalem. Hallelujah. He kneeled upon his knees three times a day and prayed and gave thanks before his God. Amen. As he did aforetime, as he did before. Let me tell you something. We can't stop praying. Amen. And giving God praise, no matter what the enemy throws. Hallelujah. I had to continue to worship and, and go into battle. You know what I'm saying? Praising and worshiping God so that this thing would not stick to me, you know, again, because it caught me off guard. But just like Daniel, we have to pray right? And worship God. Amen. God is so good. Oh, this word is a good word, you guys. Amen. Then these men assembled and found Daniel praying and making supplication before his God. And they knew that he was going to pray. And that's what we, he was using. Okay. Um, so they told on Daniel that he was praying. He was minding his own business, worship, worshiping the only true and living God, living a life for the Lord. Then the enemy came and started trouble. And that's what the devil does. Okay. He always does that. Amen. Let's pick up again at verse 16. I'm skipping through you guys. Go ahead and read for yourself. Okay. Then, then the king commanded that then the king commanded and they brought Daniel and cast him into the lion's den. Now the king spake and said unto Daniel, thy God, whom thou serve continually, he will deliver thee. And a stone was bought and laid upon the mouth of the den. And the king sealed it with his own signet and with the signet of his, his lords, that the purpose might not be changed concerning Daniel. Then the king went to his palace and passed the night fasting. Okay, we do have some people in our corner, okay? I have a handful of family members that still support me and love me and pray for me. Amen. And I pray that you do too, okay? Neither were instruments of music bought, brought before him, and his sleep went from him. Then the king arose very early in the morning and went in haste unto the den of lions. And when he came to the den, he cried with a lamentable, lamentable, okay, voice unto Daniel. And the king spake and said, Daniel, O Daniel, servant of the living God, is thy God, whom thou servest continually, okay, able to deliver thee from the lion's den? Then said Daniel, hallelujah. Woo, thank you, Jesus. Then said Daniel unto the king, O king, live forever. My God has sent his angels and has shut the lion's mouth and they have not hurt me for as much as before him, innocency was found in me. Hallelujah. Innocency was found in me and in Daniel. Hallelujah. And some of y'all too. Amen. Whoever this word is for. And also before thee, O king, I have done no hurt. Then was the king exceeding glad for him and commanded that Daniel should um, take up that they should take up Daniel out of the den. So Daniel was taken up out of the den and no manner of hurt was found upon, found upon him because he believed in his God. Listen, y'all, we got to keep believing. Like I said, no matter the circumstances, no matter the circumstance or situation, okay? And the king commanded and they bought those men which had accused Daniel and they cast them into the lion's den. Them, their children, their wives, and the lions had the mastery of them and break all their bones in pieces or ever they came at the bottom of the den. Listen, uh, they won't get away with it. No one. I'm not wishing any harm on my daughter. I wouldn't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. I only want vindication. 
That's what God does. And I remember the Lord telling me before, because I was trying to tell the Lord, Lord, don't do this and don't do that. Just clear my name. And the Lord spoke very clearly. Their actions are, with, are not without consequence. And so I'm bringing it up again for those who, again, are going through a situation or circumstance. Okay, listen, God got us, y'all. And I wanted to share, uh, well, God gave me this word to share because I was not trying to share this part about my child. I just did not feel like going over again. I, I just didn't want to. Um, but to God be the glory. And God will get the glory out of my story. Amen. It is for his honor and for his glory. And he's going to get the glory out of your story too. Amen. Amen. Just like he did, Daniel. God came through. Amen. You guys, did you see that? God came through. Amen. He vindicated him. All those that accused Daniel wrongfully. Remember, Daniel was an innocent man. And God took care of that. Okay, the Bible says, vengeance is mine. I will repay, saith the Lord. And so we don't have to do anything. And the Bible also tells us to pray for our enemies, right? Amen, amen. You know, that blessed me and and um, and bought me comfort. And I just wanted to, I just wanted to encourage you, okay? All of you guys that uh, may be going through whatever you are going through, okay? The situation, the circumstance, and to know that this too shall pass, okay? This too shall pass. This too in my life, it shall pass, okay? There's going to come a day where I'm not going to have this issue anymore. You know, I'm not going to have this worry anymore. I'm not going to have this this um, heartache anymore. You know what I'm saying? And I'll have to admit, it don't hurt like it used to. It caught me off guard yesterday. That's all. That's all. It caught me up. I'm like, wow. And you guys, some of the names that she called me, you know, her mother, who she doesn't recognize me. That's that's the part, you know, and those that are liking um, putting hearts on what she's saying and that she that's the part that gets you. You know what I mean? Like y'all should know better. You guys should know better. But at the end of the day, God's got me and I have to remember that. And this too shall pass. One last scripture I want to share. I want to um, read with you guys. And I don't really want to read too much, but I want you to remember the wealthy woman over in 2 Kings chapter 4, verses 8 through 37. I'm not reading all that. Okay, this woman here, um, the Shunammite woman, okay, who built a little room for the prophet Elisha so that when he passed through, he had a place to rest and to sleep and to eat, okay? Her and her husband didn't have any children. And I was trying to remember if they were a little up in age as well, but don't quote me on that, okay? So Elisha pro prophesied that they would have a son, and they did. And the child grew up, and one day he died, okay? And on her way to see um, Elisha to tell him about her son, she had a phrase that she kept saying along the way. And we are going to read just a little bit. Okay, just a few verses. Let me get my Bible and open right up. Let's go to 2 Kings, you guys. Chapter 4. And I'm just going to read verses 22 through 26. Okay? And it says, And she called unto her husband and said, Send me, I pray thee, one of the young men and one of the asses, uh, the donkeys, okay, I'll say donkeys, that I, that I may run to the man of God and come again. And he said, Wherefore will thou go to him today? Is it neither new moon nor Sabbath? And she said, It shall be well. Hallelujah. Come on, Lord Jesus. Oh, my God. Then she saddled the donkey and said to her servant, Drive. And she's like, go fast, let's go, and go forward. Slack not thy riding for me, except I bid you. Unless I tell you to slow down, don't slow down. We're going full speed, okay? So she went and came unto the man of God to Mount Carmel. And it came to pass, when the man of God saw her afar off, that he said to Gehazi, his servant, Behold, yonder is the Shunammite. Run now, I pray thee, to meet her, and say unto her, Is it well with thee? Is it well with thy husband? Is it well with thy child? And she answered, it is well. That's the part of the scripture I want us to focus on today. Okay? It is well, y'all, regardless of what it looks like, regardless of what you're going through, what you're passing through. It is well. Hallelujah. 
it is well. Now she said that before her circumstance change, oh my God, hallelujah, to the Lamb of God. She said that it is well before her circumstances changed. I want us to say that today. In the midst of what you're going through, as hard as it may be, as challenging as it may be, let us say it together. Look, I'm here with y'all. We are on this journey together. I'm not up here and you down there. No, no, we are here. Amen. We are all here and it is well. I'm saying it today. Tracy, it is well. It is well. Okay. It is well with my soul. Hallelujah. So the story goes on to say that the son, of course, recovered and that the Lord, through Elijah, brought him back to life. I'm just cutting it short. You got to read it. And I know you guys know the story. Okay, listen, there's two things to take away from this message. The first thing that is this too shall pass. And the second thing is it is well. Amen. That's the word for today. Listen, I, I, I kind of skipped over my notes. I'm going to just pick them up, but I believe I got everything that the Lord wanted me to say. I pray that this message brings you peace and comfort, comfort, knowing that this too shall pass and it is well. Okay. We serve a faithful father. We serve a faithful God who loves us and cares for us. Amen. Amen. And he has us in the palm of his hand. Got to use my right hand in the palm of his hand. He has me and he has you. All right. Regardless of your circumstance, regardless of your situation, I speak peace to you. I speak peace to your mind. I speak peace to your situation in Jesus name. The peace that passeth all understanding. That's in the word, you guys. That is my prayer for you today. That God just overshadows you, that he showers you with his peace. See, because uh, that's unspeakable. I mean, you cannot. It's mind blowing, you guys. You cannot explain to anybody why you have peace in the midst of complete chaos. Only God can do that. Only God can do that. Amen. Amen. So I'm, I'm excited about the Lord today. Y'all hear me? I'm excited about the Lord today. I give him all the praise, the glory, and the honor. It is due his name, regardless of my situation, regardless of my circumstances, regardless of how my heart might feel. God will forever be worthy. Hallelujah. In the Oh God, I give you praise and I give you glory and I give you honor. Hallelujah. For he is worthy. He will always be worthy. Glory to the Lamb of God. Glory to the Lamb of God. Glory to the Lamb of God. He alone is worthy. And I won't stop. Okay? Didn't expect to be crying. And I won't stop. Praising his name. I won't stop. Praising his name. I won't stop giving him glory. Hallelujah. So I prayed for us this morning. As I do every morning. I prayed for Renewed Life Family. I pray for everyone who might click on the video. Whether they are subscribed or not. We are family. And I mean that with all of my heart. Y'all, I love you so much. Whew. Thank you, Jesus. That is the word for today. Hallelujah. Like I said, to God be the glory. And I'm going to get off of here and um, and I'm going to enjoy my day. I'm going to praise God and I'm going to have some kind of fun, whether it's watching a funny movie so I can laugh. But I'm always going to keep a praise on my lips. I won't stop in the name of Jesus. And the thing is, I had a couple of things coming back to back to back. The enemy trying it. So I know I'm close. I'll be back with the testimony as soon as the Lord released me to do so because I believe him. Amen. Let me get off of here. We are already.
past 28 minutes, but that's okay. That's okay. Somebody else needs this word. Listen, if you're new in Christ, enjoy your new life with him, sweetheart. It is the best decision that you could ever make. All heaven is rejoicing with you. If by chance you have fallen away and you just now coming back, check it out. The most important thing is that you're back now. Okay. Amen. Amen. Enjoy your renewed life with Christ. It is the best decision that you could ever make. And yes, all heaven is rejoicing with you too. May the spirit of the living God, that is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob rest upon you and your family. I love y'all so much. And Jesus loves you so much more. Listen, this too shall pass and it is well. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.